Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. So I literally just want to do the quickest intro to this video. This video is going to be like a holiday prep, holiday pack with me. It is now... It's Wednesday. I technically don't go on holiday until next Tuesday, but we're going to like, we're staying in a hotel at the airport on the Monday. So technically, I'm, I'm saying I'm going on holiday on Monday. Um, so yeah, it's kind of like the last less than a week now before holiday, and I'm just going to take you along doing like little bits with me. I was going to do like a separate holiday glow up, but I feel like I've done quite a few, but I feel like I've done quite a few of them now. Like I did a birthday one did a holiday one i did a valentine's day one and it all kind of entails the same so i've already got my hair done i did that on saturday and it was too much of a rush for me to film but i literally just got like just like the dead bits cut off and i've gone still i was gonna i kind of wanted to grow my hair back to like the length it was for holiday but then i realized that's actually quite unrealistic it weren't gonna happen and it was at like an awkward limp so i went back to like just under my boobs which for me is really short, but I'm so much happier with it. It feels so soft. Um, so that was appointment one. So right now I'm literally about to leave for my eyebrow appointment. I'm going to get them laminated and I can't wait. It's, it's been so long since I had them laminated. I feel like I've not had them laminated um, since like before Christmas possibly. Cause yeah, no, I haven't had them laminated since before Christmas. So I'm so excited. Um, and then I've got to go to work, which is really killing my holiday vibe. <coughs> um, it's really killing my holiday vibe, but I will show you them when I'm back from work. And yeah, I will see you when my eyebrows are looking a little bit more presentable. So I can only apologise as to what a shambles this first part of the video was. It is actually... Um, so I think I've got my eyebrows done Wednesday. It's now Sunday. I haven't shown you anything. So my brows are done. And I feel like they're like fade. I should have shown you when they was freshly done because they looked incredible. I was so, so happy with them. Um, and I don't know if I'm being paranoid, but I feel like they're fading really quickly. Maybe not, but they just looked so much darker, obviously, when I first got them done. I probably actually looked a little bit crazy, but I just like how they look when they're freshly, freshly done. Yeah, I got my eyebrows laminated. I've been getting that done for quite a while now, and I just, I just love that look. And it also means that I don't have to, like, put anything on my eyebrows, especially when I'm on a holiday. Like, I just want to do as minimal makeup as possible, and also look, like, somewhat nice by the pool. Um, so getting eyebrow lamination means all I've got to do is wake up and brush them up. So those are my eyebrows and then i also got my nails done as well i don't know if it's gonna focus there we go i suppose it's kind of boring but i went for a french tip just because like, i don't know there was a couple of patterns and like colorful patterns that i wanted but i just couldn't decide so i thought you know what play it safe a french tip always looks good and then also i can do my toenails to match so like I, i'm quite big on having like my toenails and my nails matching so yeah those are my nails also these are my real nails like i oh, just focusing focusing on my face yeah these are my real nails i've been getting the like focus i've been getting the builder gel i think it's called and oh my god like my real nails are so long and so so strong so if you want to try that then definitely do because it's so worth it so yeah eyebrows done nails done i've been getting sunbeds i'm gonna get another sunbed tomorrow but i'm looking pretty tanned um hair mask is in and like i say it's sunday now i'm going to the airport tomorrow night so kind of today is my day to get sorted um i don't want this video to be overly long so i don't want to sit here rambling but um let me just quick i will quickly just show i've got a couple of new makeup bits and i thought i would quickly show you on here because i didn't include it in my haul um the first two are things that i've already had so the first thing i've got is the hollywood flawless filter 
and I got that, I actually got that in the shade that I usually do, I got it in 4.5 medium, um, just because I've been using this now for about a year, um, and I just got it in 4.5 when I originally got it, by the way, that one bottle has lasted me the whole year, um, yeah, and I feel like it's slight, it's probably slightly too dark for me, and then I was thinking, do I get the one up for, like, my holiday, because I do tend to get, like, a decent tan, um, but then I thought that tan is going to eventually fade. And then I'm just going to be left with a bottle that I can't really wear. So I thought the 4.5 is, it's probably like, if I'm being real, if I'm being realistic, probably a little bit too dark for my normal skin. So it should be fine. But obviously if it's not, um, then I can bronze it up. So I repurchased this Chanel bronzer. I have been repurchasing this since I was honestly 16 years old. This is like the makeup product that I just... I don't think I could live without. It just makes your skin look so glowy, so bronzed, and the perfect like holiday makeup essential, I suppose. Just look, look how fresh she looks. I don't know why I sniffed it. <laughs> it doesn't really smell like anything. I'm so happy I got a fresh one of these for holiday, and it is just this is a makeup product that I will just repurchase forever. And then the next thing that I got is the Charlotte Tilbury, I think it's the Airbrush Flawless Finish. It's just a like setting powder and my mum has it and I, when I use it, let me tell you like my pores just disappear, it completely erases your pores and I've got like quite big pores. Um, so I absolutely love this and I got it in the shade, I don't know if I'm going to regret this, I got it in the shade Fair just because I thought I can use it to like set my under eye like everywhere that i highlight i always use a lighter powder on um and i'm hoping i don't come to regret my decision and it's gonna look like white under my eyes but we'll see so yeah there was just a couple of makeup bits that i wanted to show you now let's get on with what we've got to do because it's four o'clock i'm severely running out of time like tomorrow i don't i want to basically be packed tonight and i also need to wash my hair mask out so yeah so we have our comfy pyjamas on because what else are you going to pack in? Like, like if I'm packing I need to have no makeup on, I need my hair out of my face and I need to be in the most comfy clothes possible because packing is a stressful task. So I'm ready. Um, first things first is I need to wash my makeup brushes. I probably left that really late but it needs to be done. So I'll probably have to pack my brushes tomorrow because I'm going to need to leave them to dry. Um, but I will check back in once so, I've done that. Makeup brushes are now washed and first things first, I think I'm going to do toiletries. So somehow I've got to fit up, oh my god it's so heavy, like this is going to be probably like 5kg <laughs> in itself. This big bag of toiletries into this small clear bag. I got these bags um, from Primark if you watched my I think it was my come holiday shopping with me vlog um, You would have seen a couple of things that I picked up. So yeah, I got these I think this one's gonna be for like main toiletries then makeup and the small one inside will be for brushes But obviously I'll let you know how I get on um, So yeah, this is gonna be fun. This isn't even all of my toiletries. This is just I'll say a few things that I picked up, but it's clearly not. I have got a couple more things like dotted about my room. Obviously, the stuff that I need to use like tonight and tomorrow. Um, but yeah, let's try and make a start on that. So I just got Bride Wars on in the background to watch Wire Pack. It's one of my all-time favourite films. I've seen it so many times. Um, but yeah, just as a little bit of a background watch, why I make a start. So I think me showing that bag didn't do it justice of just quite how much I bought. I've just tipped it out on the bed. Um, and like I say, this isn't all of it. I've got stuff in a couple of other bags and like stuff dotted around my room. But yeah, like I really have... I mean, you could say I'm prepared or you could say that I'm just OTT about everything, whatever you choose. Okay, so the first toiletry bag is somewhat sorted. Um, that's completely full up and that is without like all my skincare and stuff. So I think I'm gonna have to do, well, no, I'm definitely gonna have to do a separate bag for that. Um, so I've put in here like my um, shampoo. I'm using the, oh, what is it called? I should have showed you. I think it's called like Argan Oil of Morocco, something like that. Um, I've got, I should have shown you before I put it all in. I've got mosquito um, repellent, 
I've got my sun cream, which this is my favourite brand of sun cream. I've got a Factor 30 cream for my face, and then I've also got a Factor 30 and a Factor 15 oil. Um, usually I go for a bit of a lower factor, but I've never been to Mexico before, so I didn't want to risk burning. Um, I don't burn too easily. But yeah, I just didn't want to risk it. And my boyfriend has like other oils that I can use if I want. Um, I've got frizzies for my hair because I'm definitely going to need it. Shower gel. Like basically I've put in here everything that I just don't want to leak. So like obviously I've still got like my deodorant and everything that needs to go in. But I just wanted to make sure that everything that could leak is in one bag. So yeah, that's one toiletry bag done. Um, we've still not really made a dent. We've still got quite a bit to go. Um, but we've made a start. My camera is really struggling to focus at the moment. Um, but literally about two hours have gone by since I last showed you what I was doing. And I've done nothing more. Basically, my boyfriend came round to drop a couple of bits off. And I, I weighed that bag of toiletries. And alone, they came to 3.3 kg. So he just took them with him to put in his case. And now I've given that to him, his case is at the limit. So I'm going to have to be very careful with what I pack. We actually did pay for more already. So I think we've got 25... It's 25 kg each. But then people have told me I'm not allowed any more than 23 kg in a case anyway. So I don't really know like what you do about that. Um, but yeah, so like I said, it's like two hours later now. It's like half seven. I've still got to wash and dry my hair and I've not packed any more. Um, so yeah, I better get a move on. So in this bag, I've just packed like medical item type things. So I've got like paracetamol, ibuprofen. I've got some Imodium because you never know. My vitamins, which I don't know if that's like necessary. Like I'm probably not going to remember to take them. And I also did want to take my Barocca because basically I saw on TikTok that like if you get in from a night out, have a glass of Barocca, it like stops your hangover. So I did do that a couple of times and I don't know if it helps, but now I kind of feel like I need to do it. Um, so yeah, I was going to take that, but I think it's a bit unnecessary. Um, I've got some like hair grips, some little hair bobbles, hair bands, floss. I've also got a pair of scissors in there just because I know I'm bound to leave a tag on something or like I just will always need them. Um, so yeah, I think that's everything. I've also got some boob tape and stuff in there. So that is another bag done. I'm sorry, of breath. I've just run down the stairs, but my makeup is now packed. I really could just condense my makeup down to this bag as it is anyway. Like, this is what I go for. The rest of the stuff in my big makeup bag just doesn't get used. Um, so, yeah, I've got everything that I need in here. All my new makeup. I was going to get my eyelashes, um, what's it called, lifted. I was going to get an eyelash lift, but my eyes just don't... I'm going to talk to you in here. My eyelashes just don't suit. This camera is... Something's changed on the settings. Um, yeah, my eyelashes just don't suit anything on. Like... I got eyelash extensions once, no, twice, and I just hated how they looked on me. Um, I went through a phase of not even wearing mascara with my makeup just because I think my eyes suit nothing. I did book an eyelash lift in, um, and then I just got a bit panicky about it last minute. So I decided against it because it's fine. Um, and then if I do, for whatever reason, want to wear eyelashes on an evening, then I have got some. These are just the Demi Wispies, and I basically just cut them in half. Um, and use like the end section of them instead but yeah makeup is packed and then my makeup brushes will go in here but they're still wet at the moment and yeah now it is time to actually put things in my suitcase so it's now eight o'clock everything is taking me so long i'm so slow at everything but it's now time to like put everything in my case i've packed about like, my toiletries my makeup everything individually and now i've got to put everything into my case this is her i can't bring her any closer because there's no room um but this is my suitcase this is my suitcase she's baby pink i don't know if you can tell on camera she's also very battered which um i'm not too happy about everyone did warn me just if you get a light colored case like it's gonna look ruined after the first flight um i have used this morocco home maybe like four times as in like a flight to somewhere a flight home flight to somewhere flight home mm, probably yeah because it's been covid i think i've only used this I 
think I've only used this four times and it looks wrecked. But yeah, everyone did warn me. Get a light colour suitcase. She will look ruined. Um, but I have managed to clean some of this off with nail varnish remover before. So I might give it a quick go if I have time. Yeah, I got this suitcase from Primark. I got her a couple of years ago. But it's a it suitcase. I mean, I don't know. I'm telling you. You can see. Um, so if you're looking for a suitcase, a baby pink suitcase, there you go. I don't really know why I told you. Um, but yeah, it's time to start packing. Guys, I'm so bad at this. It's literally 10 o'clock at night. I don't know why I do it to myself. Um, but I'm just going to start packing now. Um, so this is the inside of the case. I have actually ripped it, which is so, so annoying. Um, but anyway, I need to make a start. First thing I like to do is put a tumble dryer sheet in each side. Just to keep it fresh and like smelling nice. Not that my clothes <laughs> don't smell nice. But... You know what I mean? It just keeps it fresh. So these are spring awakening, I think. And they're just going to go in either side. So it didn't actually click to me that the longer that I left this, it would just get more and more dark and everyone would go to bed. So, yeah, it's going to be a difficult one to kind of show you now how like I'm, what I'm putting in. Well, no, it's not actually. It's still kind of... I don't know, I'm rambling. I shouldn't have left it this long. But this is what I always do. And this is precisely why I didn't want to say to myself pack tomorrow because like i would have still been packing when it came to being picked up and i've still got besides packing i've still got so much to get done tomorrow so i'm making it uh, that's why i've laid my suitcase out on my bed so i cannot get in my bed until my case is packed um and i feel so stressed out usually i write a list of like i'm so like not chill about anything like I said and I usually write a list of everything that I pack but I haven't done that so I'm kind of just freestyling it uh, I need to stop talking I don't know where to start usually I start with shoes but I think because basically I'm so conscious about going over even though like it should be impossible I mean touch wood because we've paid for extra luggage um yeah I'm really conscious of going over so what I might do is I pretty much have planned all my evening outfits so what I'm going to do, I think, is pack all the evening out. So every outfit that I have planned, I'm going to pack that first. And then what I'll do is add extras in after. So like I know all my cover-ups, I know what bikinis I'm taking. I know exactly what my evening outfits are for most of the nights, not all of them. So I'm just going to pack everything, like... Instead of just taking things out my wardrobe and chucking it all in, like I'm, I have a rough idea of like outfits that I've made up. Um, so if I do that first, and then everything else can go around. So what I think I'm gonna do is pack my evening outfits and then get back to you. So evening outfits are done. For someone that said they wanted a lot of colour in their summer wardrobe, I've definitely failed that. It's all like black, mainly white. We've got a little bit of colour. But in fairness, like, at the st when I first started shopping, I wanted loads of colour. And now I am actually kind of into, like, I just think black and white looks so good with a tan. You can't go wrong. So I'm not disappointed with my choices. It's just funny to see how much, like, I've kind of, not changed, that's so deep. But do you know, at the start of the year, I was like, yeah, I want so much colour. And now <laughs> this is what I've packed. Also... I don't, I don't know, does anyone else roll their things? I feel like it's something that my parents taught me to keep creases out. Um, and I'm always like, do I fold, do I roll? Because I feel like folding gives so much more space until I do it. And I'm like, like there's 10 outfits there and it's barely taken up. Anyway. Okay, so we're looking a little bit more colourful now. I've just added in like my beach cover-ups. Um, some extra trousers to kind of like mix and match with outfits and also um, some shorts and beach trousers to wear over bikinis as well and also my denim shorts not too sure what I'm pairing these with yet but I feel like denim shorts are like kind of an essential for holiday so they're going in um, and we're looking a little more full now maybe a bit too full um, so yeah so I have actually run into a hurdle um, looking at them denim shorts just made me think like, oh, daytime outfits. Oh, I'm going on day trips. I don't have any daytime outfits. I've completely forgot. Just because I expected to be in a bikini all day, every day. So I haven't actually sorted any daytime outfits. I think, in fairness, I think we've got... Fuck. 
So we're going to Chichen Itza, is it called? That's a day trip. And then we're going to the ex Park and the Explore Park. Um, so the both of the like ex and Explore, they're like activity, I think. And I think a lot of one of them I can spend in a bikini. Um... I just, I, oh fuck, it's completely slipped my mind. I'm gonna have to just wing day outfits. Like maybe I've got shirts as beach cover ups, I could wear them with denim shorts, but am I gonna wanna want, am I going to want to wear denim shorts that hot all day? Probably not. I have got, if you watched the haul that would have gone up before this, I've, I've got a pair of like white cottony shorts that I could probably wear, um, but they're a bit see through. I was just gonna wear them over a bikini. And I also have got beach trousers. Could be fine for the like sightseeing day trip, but both the explore parks. Like, what do you what do you wear? I don't know. I feel like I've actually made no progress since the last time that I turned the camera on, but I have packed my bikinis. Usually I pack them in these compartments, but I've saved one of the um bags that my Shein order came in, and I thought it's perfect to just put them all in so they're all in one place. Um, and I also have one that I might add, I'm not sure yet. I'm just going to pack everything that I know I want and then add little bits in. Um, I've also added a pair of like, obviously the whole trip outfit is a struggle. So I've got some like, because I've looked at pictures. Let me turn you around. I've looked at pictures of what people wear there. Um, most of them just go around in swimsuits. I don't have a swimsuit, I only have bikinis. But I feel like I could just wear a bikini and chuck some shorts on with it. So... I think that's what I'm gonna do and then the other day trip I can just wear a pair of denim shorts or whatever and um, so hopefully that problem is overcome um I'm definitely gonna forget something definitely am but um okay we are finally making progress I definitely think I'm gonna be overweight um but I have added in my pajamas I've also packed two of my gym sets it may be wishful thinking but I am planning on going to the gym whilst I'm away. Um, I've squeezed my makeup bag in here and tried to pad clothes around it. Nothing in there should break. All the like pressed powders have got a um, bubble wrap thing around them. So it should be all okay. And then I've kind of made a start in here. I've got um, two bandanas. I've not really done anything to that yet. And then in this side I've got my like medical bag. Like I said I've got... Um, my beach bag with another handbag inside it. Um, and then I think my shoes are a little bit excessive. I've got three pairs of the same type of sliders just in different colours. These I might have to choose between because they've... I mean, to me, they're not similar. To me, they're completely different. Like, that's khaki, that's cream. But to other people, it might be too similar. Two pairs of other, like, sandals that I know I probably won't wear. Some black Primark flip-flops. I need to get some white ones. Even though with all of these, there's really no need. And I also have my white-heeled sandals, which I probably won't wear. But I think we're going to Coco Bongo one night, so I will probably wear them then. Um, and I still need to add in my other toiletry bags. Um, I've just packed all my, like, extra jewellery in this little Dior bag. And I'm going to put it in this little section i think okay at this point you're just gonna have to excuse the state of me it's now midnight um but we have a semi packed case it's got all my eve basically i've packed every all like i don't even know what i'm saying all the evening outfits that i planned all my bikinis all my underwear all my cup basically everything that i know i need like everything that i have planned to take um and i think i've got all my toiletries in there um, and then I'm going to basically weigh it and then see what we can add in because, um, like, like hair wise, I've packed, uh, my curler with one barrel, which is probably like all I need and my straighteners. My plan is to just leave my hair natural for the whole holiday, but I know I probably won't. Um, I did want to take the heated brush that I took to Spain, but it didn't really work. Like it does work. But not when my hair is freshly washed. And because I get my hair in the sea and in the pool, I do wash it every night on holiday, which is probably so bad. But I'm going to be sensible and I'm not going to take it because it won't even work. I haven't packed a hair dryer yet because I want to see what space I've got. Um, our hotel does have a hair dryer, but my hair is just so thick they don't usually work. But we're going to weigh it and see. We're just going to like get a little... 
just a little guidance so I'm not still throwing things in and just like see where we're at right now. My scales here. I don't actually know how I'm gonna do it, but um, we're gonna give it a go. I can't even lift it. Oh my god. Okay. Right. Okay, that didn't work. I think I've just broken my scales. Oh no, here we go. Right, okay. So on. One, two, three. It's not working. So there we go. Off. So apparently, oh, let me put this down. Apparently my case is only 17.9 so far. I don't know how much I believe that, but something that's not right. Like I feel like I've taken less for 12 days than what I did when we went for a week, but I'm gonna carry on packing then. So it's literally 1 a.m. now. Um, so basically the last thing that you would have seen was me weighing it and it said 17.9. Then I weighed it again, it said like 16. Then I weighed it again, it said 18. So then I stood on the scales, weighed myself, and then weighed myself and the suitcase. And it was saying 20. Um, so I actually don't know what it's weighing at the moment. I'm, I've got no idea. But like I said, it's 1 in the morning. Um, really, all I need to add in is... I mean, my makeup brushes can go in my hand luggage. Um, I've got like <laughs> about five hats that I probably won't even wear. Um, so I've got to add in hats perfume um maybe like a couple of spare bits of clothes if i've got enough weight left i will add my hair dryer i'm gonna regret so much if it's like my hair i'm so specific like my hair is so thick and frizzy like i'm just very specific with my hair dryer so i am thinking maybe i should like prioritize that over like extra clothes um and I just know I'm forgetting something. But yeah, it's one o'clock. So I'm actually going to go to bed now. And then I'll pick the camera back up in the morning. So I can finish packing my case. And I'll also pack my hand luggage. Um, and yeah, so I'm going to go to bed now. And I'll see you in the morning. So I went to town this morning. And bought one of these. Like to weigh your case on. So hopefully I will get like a bit more of an accurate like reading. And I can also take this with me to the hotel tonight. Because me we're going to swap things around a little bit. So I can take this with me to weigh it. Um, But yeah what I think I'm going to do is pack my hand luggage first. So I can see like what space I have in that. So I can like transfer bits. But oh, I always get so I'm just stressed. And I know I'll forget something. I've probably said that about 20 times. But um. Yeah, let's just, let's do our hand luggage. Let me show you. So for hand luggage, I'm just using my like gym bag. I literally use this bag every single day. It's so handy. I got it in Primark um, probably last autumn. And honestly, you can fit so much stuff in here. Everyone at work calls it like my Mary Poppins bag. So I keep so much in here um so yeah this is like the perfect bag i don't like taking like a small suitcase as hand luggage because then every time you want something you've got to like unzip get it out um so yeah i find stuff like this just perfect it has ripped a little bit but whatever um so yeah i'm gonna go pack this um i'll show you little bits that i put in there but i just want to get the general gist of it first in fact i think i'm gonna pack it and i'll wait till everything's done to show you because i'm gonna keep moving things about i ended up moving a couple of things out my case into here just because i had so much space and to make that lighter um let's try and show you some things so you're not gonna be able to see i've got some pads because you never know um i have packed myself a blanket because i like to sleep with my own blanket i don't care whether that makes me sound childish i just like it um i've got sunglasses um i'm wearing my air force to the airport because they're heavier but i've packed a pair of sliders because i prefer to travel in socks and sliders um i've got my laptop look how cute these are i bought here has to sleep with an eye mask on so i thought 
So I got us these matching ones from Primark. Um, I mean, it was either pink or Harry Potter and I thought we could be matching. I'm going to try and get some sleep on the plane, but I don't tend to usually manage. In that pocket as well, I do also just have my camera tripod just in case. Um, in this pocket, I've just got my disposable camera and a pen because you never know. Um, I think I've said my laptop. I've got my books, which I might have to show you in the next vlog at the airport because they're so far down, but I have two books in there. Um, and yeah, out of my case, I just put my makeup brushes in here because they're nice and easy. You don't have to take them out in security. And then I also just took out um, any liquids that I had that were under 100 ml. So just, just to create that extra little bit of space. Um, I also have hand sanitizer and like anti-back wipes because I'm a germ freak um face masks because I think you still have to wear them on the plane and I also have got oh, I can't show you but some like um hydrating like actual face masks like sheet masks because my face gets so dry on a flight and this is the longest flight I've ever done um I've also got a mirror so I can do that with um it's all literally just a mess obviously in here i've got like some lip balm my passport which i nearly forgot my airpods um and, and i also have this headrest that i got from guests a couple of years ago i don't actually find these very comfortable at all but i'm bringing it so that is us all packed now i think this case might be over i basically got my dad to weigh it um just before he left and it was 22 um and I think my allowance also excuse how I look. I'm just ready to go to the hotel. Um, I think my allowance is 23. Um, but then I also added in, like, this isn't the outfit that I'm travelling on the plane in. Um, so I've added that into this case. So it might make it a bit over. Let me try it. Oh, do you know what? That's not too bad. Maybe I can wait on... I also bought a cute little lock to go on it. I never usually lock my case, but I've got things like my Prada bag in there. Um, so I feel like I probably should. So I've just bought one of them. I had to get one with a key because I know my luck and I will forget a combination. I think that's saying 25. Fuck. Okay, so I think I'm going to end this pack with me now because I feel like this is going to be a lot of back and forth in the next half hour before I leave. And I also need to end this vlog now so I can start the travel vlog because I am going to be starting that tonight because we're staying at the hotel and stuff. Thank you so, so much for watching this video. Please do subscribe if you don't want to miss out on all the holiday content. We've got so many more holiday videos coming. And I will see you in the next video, which will be my travel vlog.